Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, part 52, Tides of New Monera. I'm fairly yes. confident, or at least I want to say I'm fairly confident in this being the final video, but it kind of seems that, um, oh, I've got a negative fettle. Kind of seems like, you know, with the conversations and jank, Uh, things can just go on a lot longer than I uh, realized, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, come with me! Hey, hello little um, do you need to like level up to- oh you've got no intellect. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, extra effort. Done. Extra effort. Done. Uh, um. You don't have a good weapon. And you're also... So that's a medium ranged... Well, hold on. I've got some ranged weapons. That's a light ranged weapon. Is that... Okay, and we've got this one which is a heavy melee weapon oh hey that can go to what's the face I think uh, okay I thought we got another ranged thing but maybe it was just this one oh I can't swap those out nope that's all Oom has okay oh can't be unequipped okay well then I'll take that Okay, let's see how this all goes. <laughs> Just love that, Oom, you're coming with me in the very final moments of this. No pressure, buddy. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, there was another cipher that the lady had. Oh, well. Yikes. The glaive you met in Mia Levest stares at you with wild fury and no sense of recognition, as though you were her most hated enemy. Another one? You've come too late to help the traitors. Kill her! Oh, I should have rested! Ah, dang it. Um, you're trapped in an illusion, Raymer. None of this is real. Deceitful as the first herself, my mind is clear, and I see you for the avaricious liar you are. Oh gosh, we can't go back. I should have rested. Oh, I'm so mad. Um, okay, so we could talk to her. What's, what's this about? As you approach the crystals, their facets twinkle in the moonlight. Slow pulses of aquamarine radiate from the center, the pattern's even repetition instilling a remarkable sense of clarity. The fabrications of the labyrinth become crystal clear the closer you come to the crystals. What's more, you can feel the weight of energy inside the crystals trying to escape. There's power here if you can release it. Sure, why not? Let's go for it. The blow creates hairline fissures in the surface. The pulsing continues unabated, but the crystal's tensile strength can't hold against many more strikes like that. Oh, I mean, Makina's not going to be very helpful. Smash! <laughs> yeah, okay. She can just hang out. Step away. Uh, can you smash Oom? You've got a decent amount of strength. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Oom! Hey now. 
Hey now. Gosh, I mean, I don't have much in the way of strength. Another blow and the hairline fissures become large cracks. Reaching your fingers into the thin gaps, the glass is cool to the touch. You brace a foot on the stone curb and pull back. With a sharp snap, a small piece of the crystal tears open. A blue pearl lies embedded in the ground beneath it. The energy from the pearl presses against your mind, aching to escape. Yikes. I really wish I rested. Oh, Oom! Um. Oom! Um, why do you have a negative fettle? Your boot compresses the pearl until it bursts with a liquid pop. A wave of cool light flows out in all directions. For a moment your senses heighten, sounds clearer, vision sharper, beyond anything you've experienced before. Immediately the others are freed from their illusion and begin to fade, their consciousness disappearing elsewhere into the labyrinth. All except for Rayma, who seems to recognize you as her mind clears. Oh, nice. Oh, oom, um, my little buddy. <laughs> what have I done to you? I'm so sorry. I would have thought he would have leveled up to be like the rest of us, but I guess not. Oh, if we could rest, that would honestly be the bee's knees, and I'm kicking myself for not doing that earlier. Oh, okay, mouse, let's go. Of course. <sighs> okay, so I mean, there's. Yikes. Okay, there's these things. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Oh, sorry, my mouse is just throwing a hissy fit. There we go, then. Uh, try to activate it. The controls are not hard to figure out. Within moments, the air around the pylon begins to ripple and an arc of energy connects it to the other machines nearby. The machine's humming increases. As you step away from the controls, the pylon's power begins to fade. The knob you turn to activate it is slowly turning back by itself. It's only a matter of time. Chase away, so we're going to have to do this all in like one foul swoop. Can you actually do anything, Oom? Maybe you can hide. Don't let me die, cast oh off. gosh, this is not going to end well. They have me surrounded. I'm aware they do. Um, I'm ready. Good. I'm ready. Oh, shivers, Allegan. Oh, yikes, that was not good. Right. The only issue here is I think this one has turned off. I can't, can't die. 
Please don't die. I can't, can't die. Okay, this has to do something for me, otherwise we're goners. Okay, are we all good to rock and roll? <laughs> My poor peeps are all like, oh, shivers. I was not ready for this in the slightest. No idea. So it kind of looked like we needed to get um, up to where the door was. Who's going to stop us now? But I don't necessarily want anyone to just run out because we're all a bit uh, very close to death's door. Oh, I should have gotten Makina to hide. Shivers! I can't, can't die. What the stinking mess! Thank you. Ready. Kind of just hoping if we can make a runner, <laughs> Makina will be okay, <laughs> but I just, I don't know. You see me suffering? Maybe you should fix it. All right. I'm not going to be able to do this. So what I should have done is got my character to heal Alagurn because he's about to die now. And Makina had the um, this thing which could have healed all of us. I don't think I can transfer it now. Far out. I've not done this well. I was not prepared for combat. Um, I don't think I can transfer anything either. Yeah, okay. Um.
Did I do it? I don't know. They're still attacking me. What else am I supposed to do right now? On it. Oh, far out. Okay, well, this will be it. I'm going to have to redo all of this. Can I go through it or do I have to wait one more turn? Oh, far out. That was so stinking close. Just need to take a second. I was not expecting to get here. <laughs> We've got nothing either. I'm just going to give myself all the stuff because Forward. Forward. I'm assuming I'm going to need to do some talking. Sorry, it's like my mouse has also just decided it's not going to work anymore. Um, what now? Can you do this? Yay or nay? Can we... Okay, I don't think we can do that outside of combat. Okay. Good. Alright, I think that gives us our best fighting chance if combat is where this is going to lead. Oh, come on. You have walked into the middle of an argument. Neither of the speakers acknowledge your presence. Their concentration is fully engaged with the other. One of them looks like Andronus, the cast off from Mia Levest, but he carries himself very differently, confident, haughty. This must be Andronus before he was cast off. The other is the first cast off as you saw her in the Memavira's fortress, but noticeably less scarred and beaten, a younger version. No, Merilel, Andronus, or the Changing God says, I give you my reasons, and I have had enough of explaining myself to you. Her eyes burn through the blank stare of her porcelain mask. I have aided you in your researches, uncovered secrets of the tides you never knew, would never have figured out on your own. I am twice the thinker you are... You are an accident. I won't deny the advantages your awareness provides, but do not deign to suggest that we are anything like equals. The first thoughts are jumbled and confused. Her mind is in a loop, reliving the same moments over and over again. I can't tell you how much pleasure it gives me to see her trapped here. Pity there's no other way out. We've got to help her or we'll get stuck too. She barks a laugh. Wouldn't that be ironic? What are you doing here? She crosses her arms. What are you doing here anyway? Did you think I wouldn't find out you'd broken your promise to me? Oh, Marilel. His tone is patronizing. Have you come to tell me about the followers you've gained? Come to implore me to change my mind? Did you think to threaten me? I can't stand by while you withhold the power for us to rejuvenate ourselves. He sighs. I'm not withholding it. There's no reason for you to seek rebirth as I have done. 
When my technology is perfected, you will be reunited with me. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Talking to you is pointless. He shrugs and smiles. You know the way out as well as I do, Marilel. You can leave at any time. Leave? No, I... A confused look passes over her face as if she isn't sure why she said that. No, I am not leaving. Not until you give me what I want. Stop arguing. This isn't real. She throws her hands in the air. Stop arguing. This isn't real. It can't be. You are a father to me, but I see now what you really are. You're a narcissist. You have forgotten the fear of death. He falls silent, retreating deep into a reflective stillness. At last, he says, I haven't forgotten the fear of death. I live with it every day with the reminder of what it has taken from me. Don't you realize that everything I do is in service of gaining it back? It's not just for me. His face hardens. What do you think you are to me, anyway? We're your children, all of us. We're looking to you for guidance and help. We want to be your allies, but you keep setting us aside, and now you're withholding something that could save our lives. Now you're speaking for the rest of them, eh? Making yourself first among equals? Well, I have said this before, but apparently it isn't clear to you. So, I will clarify, and you can relay these words to the others. His voice is as cold as a dead star. I have but one daughter. You are not she. You have a daughter? She snarls. You have a daughter? Right here? The one you're talking about has been dead for centuries, but I... I am flesh and blood. I am alive and begging for your help to stay that way. The look of empathy and compassion has disappeared from his face. You're not my daughter. You're a creation. You're a shell. Do you feel shame when you discard your old clothes? Do you feel pity when a doll burns? He points at her face. I feel as much connection to you as I do to that mask. I don't hate you, Marilel, his tone softens. I don't despise you. But you need to look at this from my perspective. He gestures around. All of this equipment, all of the cast-offs, they're all just byproducts of what I began long ago. I must finish what I started. How will you finish what you started? How will you finish what you started? She whispers. The sorrow hunts us because of what you've done. I know that, gods! He rubs his fingers angrily over his head. The sorrow is an unfortunate byproduct of my work. You know that. So my solution is simple. I'm going to find a way to bring you all back into myself. My mind will be whole again and whatever evil the sorrow thinks I've done will be put to rest. It will leave us alone forever. Not us. You. If you suck us into your head, we will no longer exist. She shakes her head. I won't let you. We will find another way. He laughs, not scornfully, but as if she said something genuinely hilarious. How? How will you find a solution that has eluded me? By definition, you cannot. Your last cast-off believes in what I'm doing. I no longer need your approval. Your last cast-off believes in what I'm doing, she says, though it's clear from her expression that she doesn't understand the words coming from her mouth. I no longer need your approval. I'm ready to take my path. She blinks several times, her eyes suddenly clear. The illusion is shattered. She startles and gapes at you. The changing god's avatar dissolves into dust and memory, as if it never existed at all. A portal opens where he stood, beckoning you further into the labyrinth. Its grasp is undeniable. She crosses her arms and regards you quietly for a moment. Why did you choose to save me from that? It was the right thing to do. 
Hmm, she seems unconvinced. Well, I appreciate your thoughtfulness, but it doesn't change anything. Then she turns abruptly and strides to the portal. Without turning around, she says, thank you. Then in a brief flicker of light, she's gone. Oh my gosh, I thought this was going to be the last video, but who knows what's going to await us beyond here. So I might cut things here or I might just keep it going depending on what happens.